So is there any stand-up moments from your career, especially in the Premier League, where you saw a piece of skill or a goal where it just blew your socks off, basically? The stand-up one for me from a game I played in was um, the Van Persie goal against us at Old Trafford. It was, um, I'd actually ran through, tried to do a one-two with Andy Vyman, didn't get his body in front, he'd give it away. So um, I'm not taking fault for giving that away. He should have given me the one-two. Then pass to Rooney, Rooney picks out Van Persie yeah. and then um, over the top and then lets it over his head and volleys into the corner. And like, people don't realise yeah, how hard is that how hard score? that technique yeah. is. That's that's one that some players, maybe like myself, would probably like not even kick the ball. It's very, very tough. You've got to imagine it's coming over your head mm. and you don't even know where the goal is. Mm. It's because he's that aware of Van Persie. He just, he, he's one of them players that do know where the goal is, wherever they are on the pitch, mm. you know, and um, that was something that stood out to me. It was a bit of a wow moment of like, wow. And they secured the league in. with that goal yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Andy Vyman. So you're blaming Andy yeah, Vyman for that goal? He's to blame. Now, moving on, we're going to make a dream five aside team of players you wish you played with. Mainly Premier League, but if there's anyone that you want to just chuck in for the hell of it, we'll let you do that. And we're going to obviously have you up top as the striker. But we'll start with a goalkeeper. Who's a goalkeeper you wish you played with? It's got to be Edison, mm. because um, for one, in a five-a-side, is the perfect goalkeeper for a five-a-side, because true. he'll be able to find you on the pitch. Mm. He can make different runs, and he can score a goal. True, so, yeah, take the penalties. You know, yeah, but even five-a-side, your mm. keeper can score. He can come out with the ball. Someone's got to come towards him. <laughs> that depends if they're allowed out the D, exactly. though, doesn't it? Yeah, they are in my five side. Oh, they're not in mine. But um, <laughs> even playing with him, like you, you see some of his assists from Man City, you're like... Me as a player always running behind, you know, on a counter attack. Some of the keepers I played with will kick the ball out of play. You know what I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with Paolo Maldini. Oh, that's a good, that's a good I know player. he's not in the Premier League, but growing up watching the AC Milan team and watching mm. Maldini, like so strong. Mm. I've not seen many defenders sort of cope with, you know, Brazilian Ronaldo. Yeah, exactly, Maldini yeah. did. You know, just just a, a die-hard defender, body on the line, and very good on the ball as good well. Good with both feet, weren't yeah, he? Yeah, good with both feet, good on the ball, and longevity in the game as well. He's a defender that you'd love to have on your side. And now your midfielder. So, my midfielder, I would love to have played with. I've got to put Kevin De Bruyne in there. I just feel like if I played with someone like Kevin De Bruyne, the runs you could have made, you know, the the... the just, just the way I play my game, I like to run in behind, get through, through on goal, and with someone like that picking the ball up, you can make any run. When you watch these City players, they make any run, unrealistic runs, <laughs> where the ball shouldn't even find you, mm. and De Bruyne will make it happen. Mm. He'll, he'll make the ball find you, so he's definitely one that I'd love to have played with. And who's playing up top with you? Who's your other attacker to finish off the team? My other attacker is... Thierry Henry. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm just there. obsessed with him. Um, yeah. Even still, like, as a kid, I loved watching Arsenal. I was a Villa fan, but Arsenal was my second team, and obsessed with Thierry Henry. Had the night vapors as a kid because of Thierry Henry. Wanted to be like him. Wanted to do the inside of the right foot finish like him. Didn't work out like that, but you know, um, <laughs> I did score a couple of goals with that inside of the right yeah. foot finish, but. Was was lucky to play against him a few times and managed to swap shirts with him. Oh really? Um, sure. When he come back, um, and wore number twelve mm. at Arsenal. Mm. When he come back, and um, still got that at home now. So Cherry Henry for me, um, the greatest ever player to play in the Premier League. So now your dream father side then: in goal Edison, in defence Maldini, in midfield De Bruyne, and up top you and Henry. Not bad, that is it. It's not bad, and you know Cherry wants me to put to push me onto the yeah. left. <laughs> Ben, he done it to me when he comes to Villa. Second oh. half of my career was as a left winger. You wouldn't mind doing it for Henri. I wouldn't do it for, yeah. I wouldn't mind doing it for Henri. I'll go on the left, let Thierry go down the middle. <laughs>